Imagine if you could ask an AI assistant to add new features to your Unreal Engine 5 game, and after a couple of seconds, not only has it completed that feature, but you can continue to ask it to tweak it, change it, or even edit that new feature yourself. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do exactly that. If you are a game developer, I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel because I am going to be showing you some incredibly powerful things that are just going to give you a straight up unfair advantage over everyone else. In this video, we are going to be integrating an AI augmented version of VS Code with a C++ Unreal Engine project. This means that we can take our AI model and allow it to research and train itself on the existing Unreal Engine C++ code base. And once it has a basic understanding of that code base, we can start asking it to implement basic features or change different things about that code base. And with at least some level of autonomy, it will be able to do that. Now, while you're watching this video, one of the main takeaways that I think everyone should have is everything I am going to show you is still very much in its infancy. The stuff that this AI model is going to do is very basic compared to what I believe these models are going to be able to do in even just a couple of months. And the reason for that is because this model that I am going to be utilizing is not trained in Unreal Engine. This is a generic model and its ability to interface with Unreal Engine is limited. We are specifically utilizing a C++ version of this project so it can access that C++ code and modify that C++ code, but it still does not have access to a huge number of features and mechanisms that Unreal Engine has that I, as a human, still have to modify. But in the coming months, there are a number of companies that are not only training AI models specifically to develop inside of the Unreal Engine environment, but they are expanding the AI's capability, making it a native plugin for Unreal Engine itself. And when that happens, the AI model would have complete access to everything, and it will be able to modify anything that a human could also modify. And when we reach that threshold, I think the videos that you're going to be watching on this channel are going to be significantly more mind-blowing. So if you want to stick around for that journey, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Now, in this video, we are going to be utilizing the 100% non-modified Unreal Engine 5 first-person shooter template. This is Unreal Engine version 5.5 specifically. And this demo is just a first person demo where you can pick up a weapon and you can shoot these yellow balls and there's even a couple of cubes in the environment that react to physics. Now, I am going to showcase a number of examples just to show off the capabilities that AI currently has in this configuration with this version of Unreal Engine. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to task this AI to generate a new level. And this is particularly tricky because the AI does not have direct access to the Unreal Engine editor, so it cannot hand place assets into a level or scene by itself. But what it can do is it can generate a C++ class that does level generation. And by using that workaround, we can generate levels utilizing AI in Unreal Engine 5. And I think in the near future, when AI does have full access to full scene level generation inside of Unreal Engine as a plugin, you're going to see those capabilities explode. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to task our AI to generate a level generator C++ class. And the cool thing is, is even though it is writing code, when that class is completed and we actually have it inside of our Unreal Engine editor, all of that code that it has written, all of the parameters, all of the variables, all of the things that can be configured about about that class, about that object, about that actor, about whatever it's created can be edited directly inside of Unreal Engine, even though the AI generated the C++ class outside of Unreal Engine in VS Code. So to get started, we have our Unreal Engine 5 project opened up in our custom version of VS Code. And since we have all of our C++ classes available here 
for the AI to learn from and edit, we can start either modifying these or creating new classes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We've already given the AI an opportunity to learn from these existing classes and we're going to go ahead and we're going to say create me a level generation class that allows me to create a room inside of a scene. Create a generation button inside of this class that I can use in the details panel after setting my preferred settings for the generated room. And let's see what it can do. After a few seconds, this is what the AI has generated. It has created this custom room generation C++ class that even has all of these configurable variables. So you can see you can actually change the room width, change the room height, you can adjust whether the room has a ceiling or not. And while this has all been generated in C++, when you go into Unreal Engine and you compile the project to load this new C++ class that has just been generated, and you take this class here, which you now have in your Unreal Engine content browser, you can see all of those configurable parameters that it had created in code, but inside of the actual editor. So you can see here, I can set the room width, I can set the room length, or the height, I can have it generate a ceiling or not. And once I have everything configured the way that I want, I press this button, boom, there we go. There is a very humble, mind you, but fully AI generated level. Now, this is just a simple demonstration to show you the basics because this may not look like much, but depending on how you utilize your AI model, and depending on how it is trained, you can do significantly more than this. Imagine if you took this exact same system and you had the AI edit it to become a labyrinth generator so you could create roguelike missions that generated every single playthrough. Imagine if you combine this with marketplace assets. You know all of those modular buildings that you find and all of those modular bunkers and bases? Well, you could have the AI take those and actually create a procedural level generation system with those modular marketplace assets. And that is actually going to be the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do in this short tutorial. Here is a completely free office space asset. And I know that everybody loves the back rooms because that's a cool sci-fi concept where you get caught in this parallel universe, I guess, where you have this abandoned office that goes on forever. Well, let's use AI to create a basic modular labyrinth-like environment utilizing assets and materials from this completely free asset pack. And the coolest thing about this is that Fab is now natively integrated into Unreal Engine 5. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to add these assets to this project without even having to close it, which is extremely convenient. Okay, now we have increased the complexity of this system. We've gone ahead and instead of it just creating a room, it actually creates a procedural maze. Now we're going to take our new room generator and we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to plug in some of these materials from our free office pack. Let's go ahead and we will utilize this marble for the wall material and we will use this metal for the floor material. And now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and press generate maze and see how big of a difference this is from the first iteration after just a few seconds of working with AI to improve this. Here is our fully generated maze, and as you can see, now it also has textures. Let's go ahead and play. Now, while this is not any AAA game yet, this is significantly more complex than our initial demo. Now, there are still some things that we need to sort out, like these edges on the walls, and maybe even add some more variety and additional complexity to make this feel even more like an actual game and less like a labyrinth tech demo, but those are things that we can also continue working to add. So next we're going to ask the AI to add a ceiling, to add lights, and fix some other issues like those divots in the walls. We're going to drop it in here, 
We are going to assign a good wall material. We'll set that to wallpaper two. We will set the floor to a carpet and the ceiling. We're going to use the office ceiling texture. And with that set, boom, there is our entirely procedurally generated level created using a procedural generator that our AI just wrote for us. And if we would like to, we can go ahead and we can play this. There we go. And as you can see, we even got it to remove those issues with the corners. And you could use this as a start for your own Unreal Engine 5 game. But this is a proof of concept to show how you can integrate artificial intelligence into your Unreal Engine 5 workflow. And this isn't even official. This is using a standard model, not even trained on Unreal Engine specifically, using it to generate code externally using Visual Studio. This is not even natively inside of Unreal Engine yet. And in some of my future videos, when I start showing you native Unreal Engine solutions, I think that's when things are going to get absolutely insane. In my upcoming videos, I am going to be showing you two different types of blueprint-based AI editors inside of Unreal Engine that are currently in closed beta. They have not been released yet, but that is one of the reasons I am creating videos like this now, just to prepare you for what is coming. You are going to be able to have the Unreal Engine editor open and not just use an AI to help you learn how to use the editor, which it is very helpful with doing. It can help you go to the right places, press the right buttons. It can give you directions on if you want to create a level or if you want to implement a mechanic. But in the very near future, it will also be able to do at least some of that implementation for you. Now, how well is it going to be able to do it? As I've shown you here, it at least has some competency level. It does still require human guidance, but as time goes on, I think it's going to become more and more powerful, not just at educating new developers, but also assisting seasoned developers with making their games better or even building utilities for their existing games. And just to take this a little bit further, I added a few more features, such as the ability to randomly place clutter, Throughout the levels, I now have a variety of different lights with different light levels. So you might actually run into a part of this level where the lights either flicker or are dimmed or are completely dark, Ooh, like kind of right here. And this is the kind of stuff that you'll be able to utilize for your own games. Granted, even this is a very simple technical demonstration, but you can use AI in order to not just generate games in Unreal Engine 5, but generate tools that you as a developer could utilize for games as well. This is something that I only wrapped up in a few hours for a single day. Imagine what somebody could do if they spent an entire week, an entire month, using these tools to generate procedural generation systems, procedural level generation systems, or even add in whole new game mechanics. If you are interested in any of this stuff, you can actually book a consultation call with me for free. Link is down in the description. Full disclosure, at the end of that consultation call, I will invite you to join our online academy. Usually I give discount codes to people who I think are a good fit for the program. So if you're interested in that, click the link down below. But I do believe that we are at the beginning of this technology, AI specifically, having a huge impact on game development for Unreal Engine. It has had a big impact already on many other parts of the world, including the games industry, but as of yet, it has not been fully and properly integrated into the game development workflow, but I think in the coming months, that is all going to change. So. If you want to be along for the ride for that entire journey, 
make sure you subscribe. I am also really looking forward to seeing what you all create as well, even in our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop, which is Unreal Engine based. I'm really interested to see if the community utilizes any of these tools to create maps, to create new mods, to create new content for the modding community for OHD. I am really curious to see if any of these tools help. And besides that, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, cheers.